Hello children, our today's topic is metric measure. Children, in ancient time, people used their body parts like arm, hand or foot to measure the things. To measure how long the things are and how far apart they are. Objects like blocks, clips and some other objects can also be used to measure the things. To measure weight, an equivalent quantity of two items can be taken. To measure the capacity of a container, small containers of the same size can be used. Non-standard units do not give the exact measurement. We cannot use them in our day-to-day -day life because as they differ from place to place and size of the objects also differs. Therefore, the modern version of metric system is called the International System of Units or SI is used worldwide except United States of America, Liberia and Myanmar. Now all scientists in the world use metric measures or SI system of measurement. In Hanuman Chalisa written in 1600th century, Tulsidashi gave a very close estimation of the distance between the sun and the earth. Where one yoke equal to 12,000 miles, one sahasra equal to 1,000, one yojan equal to 8 miles. When we multiply all these, we get 96 million miles. One mile equal to 1.6 kilometers, therefore 96 million miles equal to 153 million and 600,000 kilometers. Scientists proved that the distance which Tulsi Das Ji had calculated is same as when converted into kilometers. Grams and kilograms, centimeters, meters and kilometers, milliliters and liters are the units we usually use to measure the weight, length and capacity of objects. These are called the standard units of measurement. For the sake of uniformity, the standard instruments are used to quantify the things. To measure length, inch tape, ruler, meter rod is used. To measure weight, weighing scale or electronic weighing machine is used. To measure capacity, beakers, jars, cups, spoons are used. The base units in the SI system are the kilogram for mass, the meter for distance and the liter for capacity. We use some prefixes like kilo, hecto, deca, deci, centi and milli in the metric system. This is the metric chart. From the meter, gram and liter, we get the rest of the metric units using the standard metric prefixes like kilo, hecto, deca, deci, centi and milli. Using the metric chart, we can do conversions very easily. Suppose we have to find out 1 kilogram equal to how many decagram? So, kilogram to decagram, 1 step, 2 step. So, we have to move 2 steps towards right. So, 10 and 10. 10 into 10 equal to 100. Therefore, there are 100 decagram in 1 kilogram. 1 liter equal to how many milliliters? So, liter to milliliter, we have to move 3 steps towards right. So, 10, 10 and 10. 10 into 10 into 10, that comes to 1000. So, there are 1000 milliliters in 1 liter. 1 hectogram equal to how many decagram? Hectogram to decagram, we have to move one step towards right. So, there are 10 decagram in one hectogram. One decameter equal to how many centimeter? So, decameter to centimeter. One, two, three. We have to move three steps towards right. So, 10, 10 and 10. 10 into 10 into 10, that comes to 1000. So, there are 1000 centimeters in 1 decameter. 
Hope the topic metric measures is clear to you now. That's all for today. Bye-bye.